The Lucas wiring in these cars is actually nicknamed by Jaguar enthusiasts as the Prince of Darkness wiring system by Lucas. <laughs> I'm not making that up. And, and it's jacked up. On the, in the first place, it was probably reliable for a couple of years, but here's the real deal. It's low voltage wiring with a lot of freaking relays and tons of internal fuses that are all in line, and it's really, really complex. And as it breaks down with age, it just gets more and more complex to repair. It was way easier to reach for a painless wiring system, completely gut the car, rewire it with something that we know is reliable, serviceable, and easy to install. So after yanking all the factory wiring out, salvaging what we had to, we went to work making this car reliable again. My buddy TC is great at wiring, so I leaned on him again to help make things happen. We replaced all the Jaguar wiring with a painless, uh, it's called their Pro Series harness. Uh, the reason I use painless is because it's really good quality systems. Um, everything's labeled all the way through the end of the wires. It's easy to install, it's easy to troubleshoot. They've got a fantastic manual and they've been doing it a long time. It's a really great company with really great products. It just made sense to use painless. We tried to keep some of the factory wiring. The ABS system, uh, it just didn't work. The factory stuff that we kept were pigtail ends, connections to lights, to the tail lights, uh, and just scabbed into it from the Pro Series harness. The Jaguar Specialties Conversion Kit gives you interface modules and senders to, to use the stock gauges. They looked old, they looked dated. The Coda Digital HDX system is because the, everything ties together with multi-pin plugs. It ties in to a GPS speedometer sensor with a multi-pin plug. It's gonna be perfectly accurate with a very long life. The other thing is that it marries into the Holly Dominator ECU with a multi-pin plug. So again, for a non-wiring savvy guy like me, it takes a high-end product, accurate digital gauges, and marries it, interfaces it with the, the ECU and the computer system that, that controls the, the rest of the drivetrain, simply, easily, accurately, and very professional looking. Jan Van Kooten of Stitch by Stitch in Cookville knocked it out of the park reupholstering these seats, down to matching the grain of the Jag vinyl and the sheen of the SM product's interior color. I'm so stoked that these pull-apart salvage seats look so fantastic, but are miles better than the original Jag seats. Yay! I've worked with Vintage Air for a long time on different aftermarket builds, and they've got a bunch of different systems. They're micro systems. We ended up going with the, the Magnum 4 system that fits perfectly in this car once you got the original stuff out of it. It's going to give you reliable air conditioning. It's going to be uh, more than enough for the cabin of this car. And again, great company, great aftermarket support. 